was you experience it you spread this love to everyone you want to pass it on I wish for you my friends this happiness that I found you can depend on him he answers all our prayers I shouted from the mountain top I want the world to know the Lord of God has come to me I want to pass it on another route different from the one Pahulaan tayo, ha? Uhulang-uhula ang ano, Divina Pastora, sagutin niyo na malakas. Anong lugar? Anong pangalan ng simbahan na pinuntahan natin na sinasabi the church has been in restoration for eight years? Divina Pastora, what's your answer? Ina-explain sa atin yan ng ating guide. Anong simbahan iyon? <laughs> Eight years in restoration and for the first time nakita natin we are so blessed dahil pinuksan. Saan po yun? Mount Nebo. <laughs> Yay! Lagi kayong panalo. Ha? One dollar. One dollar. The Bella Gumamela pahulaan natin. Father Danny. Ah, para hindi lang mahirapan. Anong church pa rin? Uh, anong mga order of religious congregation yung place na kung saan si Monsignor Jerry Bitoan ang preacher? Bella Guamella. Nako, hindi alam. Basiskanas. Basiskanas. Ano pong order yung religious congregation na kasikaso sa atin? Franciscan. Franciscan. One point. Two dollars. Bes, ano yun? Big one point na. Pahula tayo. Uh, uh, anong place? Anong pangalan ng patron ng simbahan na mayroong uh, priest writer ng libro? And uh, we know the celebrant was Father Salty Fortuno, the Fan Fan de Salapan. Church of Martyrs. What? Church of Martyrs. Church of Martyrs. Church of Martyrs. Okay. Ano naman para sa grupong Uh, Parako, uh, Tim Parako, sinong patron saint nung cathedral that we went at night na kung saan nakita ang map of the Holy Land? Saint George. Seldon. Wow, dapat si Father Seldon ang sasagot niya. What's the answer, Father Seldon? Saint George. Saint George. Wow. Saint George. <laughs> Mukhang na nakikinig pa sila noon. Okay, another question. Another treat, yeah? Uh, we are going to the building crossing. Okay. Ang uh, susunod na sasagot ay ang uh, taputang grupo para ako. Ano? Is the uh, grupo mayor. Ah, tigas! Oh, oh, wow, tigas! Ah, sabi tayo. Anong lugar? Anong lugar kung saan nangyari ang multiplication of loaves? Tapga. 
multiplication of loaves ang sinang sumagot tiga, grupong tigas ka ba? Yes. sa wakas tumigas <laughs> one point ok the place kung saan ang yari tignan mo na grupo mayor uh, the curing of the mother-in-law of Peter the curing of the paralytic on the top of the roof tapos yung uh, parabol no. tungkol sa wind, sa mill, nadadali sa dagat, etc. Yeah, the that. house, town of Jesus, Caperno. Wow. Caperno What is the meaning of Caperno? House of Comfort. House of Comfort. House of Comfort. Wow, galing ha. Eh? What is the meaning of Nahum? Okay. Comfort. Comfort. Wow. Yeah, you, you, were, you were all listening, eh? Comfort. What else? Uh, question? We, we go back to the Divina Pastora. We'll take a difficult, uh, ano na, difficult question. Na. <laughs> Walang difficult sa mga yan. Where we are now? We're still in the... Uh, okay, ito. Ah... Uh, What is the oldest city in the world? Linda. <laughs> okay, but the question is, how many years old now is Jericho? Bibina Pastora. Ten thousand. How many? Ten thousand shekels. Three thousand? Higher. Higher. Ten ten thousand shekels. Three thousand shekels. Ten. Ten thousand years. Okay, that's the whole calculated. 10,000 years old uh, town, uh, the city of Jericho. Um, what are those, uh, uh, you saw the group, the Bella Gumamela? Uh, by going to Israel, that the, uh, what do you call that? These two race or uh, sons of, uh, Sao. First, I will give the Moabites. What is the other side of the Moabites? Clay. Ninibites. Ah, Edomites. So when, when, uh, of course, when, uh, when you can say like this, that means your answer is correct. When you can say like this, it's wrong. <laughs> Is to the head. Okay. Uh, next, sa grupo. Sino sa pagod ba na? Bella. Tuma Bella. What is the lowest place in the world? Dead Sea. Dead sea. sea? What sea? Galil. Uh, how, how low is deep uh, ano, uh, from the level of the sea level? <laughs> More or less, what is the closest number of uh, meters? 100 meters below sea level? 7. 320. That's 420. Wow, okay. 420. What is the place for a group of Tiga, a group of Barako? The place of big and done. Do you know the place of transfiguration? Because there's no doubt you know it. But, uh, maybe uh, uh, what would I ask? The congregation that takes care of the Mount of uh, Tabor, the Church of Transfiguration. We met one of the fathers there. Anong grupo po ito? The Franciscans, yes, of course, the Capuchin. Alam pa rin yung kung gaano kataas ang Mount Tabor, how many meters high above sea level? 588. Wow, very good. 
good. But I think you're writing a diary, huh? 588 meters above sea level, oh, Mount Tabor. Very good. Galing, ha? Uh, grupong tigas. Taking notes talaga. Uh, we'll go yonder. What? Mahirap, hirap. <laughs> okay, give us very difficult questions. <laughs> you probably will be the one to ask. <laughs> <laughs> difficult, difficult. We are now uh, crossing uh, Jericho after Jericho, Mount of Temptations, and then go day after that. Okay. No, I will tell you a joke instead of asking questions. Because we are in, in the desert, so you saw camels, right? Yes. So this baby camel, he goes to his uh, mother and he say, Nanai? Nanai? Why do we have such a big hump? So Nanai says, well, we need to store lots of energy, lots of fat, because we are walking in places with no food, no water. And then he goes, and Nanai, why do we have such long eyelashes? Well, we need in the desert to protect our eyes from the dust, from the winds. Said, Nanai, why do we have such long legs? Said, well, also because we, we walk such long distances and not too sick in the sand and so. So I said, Nanai, if we have all of that, what are we doing here in the Manila Zoo? <laughs> <laughs> Very nice, very nice. I love it. <laughs> We're going down the uh, sea level. That's why you notice in your ear. Magka nala kayo moya moya para may bubble gum, so that you would avoid the. Okay, difficult question. The Qumran. How many? Uh, uh, caves are there in uh, Qumran, uh, sorry. So, uh, how many, in how many caves scrolls were found in Qumran? Eleven. eleven. Uh, in how many caves? Eleven. Eleven. Ele eleven, very good, eleven. How many scrolls total? Forty-nine. Forty-nine. Nine hundred. Nine hundred, nine hundred. Nine hundred, nine hundred. Which? The only book found complete. Isaiah. Very good. How far back the scrolls goes? The time, the time period of the scrolls. BC. First, second century. BC. BC. Very good. What the name Bethlehem means? House of bread. Okay. Going to visitation? Ah. Ah. <laughs> What was the uh, the name of uh, Lot's wife? Because this is the area of Sodom and Gomorrah, by the way, somewhere here. What was the name of Lot's wife? Uh, not mentioned. It says Lot's wife. <laughs> it's not mentioned, yeah. Lot's wife. 
Sodom and Gomorrah were down near by the Dead Sea somewhere. Yeah, we, we think today most of people, most scholars believe it was nearby the northern shores of the Dead Sea, not far from where we were yesterday. Because remember when uh, Lot and Abraham, they've decided to walk uh, separate ways because their possession became so great. And Lot, it says in the Bible, he chose to go and to stay in the Jordan Plain, which is here. The Jordan Plain, the valley here, which was, because the river, remember, used to be much wider. And there was a very good land here. The soil was very good, very large river. So that's where he chose to stay. And it says his territory went all the way to Sodom and Gomorrah in the Jordan Plain. So it had to be here somewhere. This whole area, which is dry to the right, when the river was back there much wider, it was very nice and green. When Moses and the Israelites, when they have looked at the promised land from Mount Nebo up there, so here it was a desert, but not the valley. The valley was green because of the water. And it says in Genesis, in the book of Genesis, that Lord, he stayed in the Jordan plain, which was like the garden of the Lord, like the land of Egypt, like compared with the Nile River. That's the way you have to think about the Jordan Valley at that time. Now the river is very small, like a small brook, so it's, it's different. Yeah, kind of. Some believe Garden of Eden was here, some believe it was in Mesopotamia, there are different opinions. Some believe the Garden of Eden was the Jordan River. So that's uh, one of the theories. So you see, we came from the mountains down, Jerusalem, now we cannot see it, but it's way up there, across the desert. Jericho is coming soon to the left. So we went from the mountains down east, now we're going north. And soon we'll turn to the right, going to Alimbi Bridge, to the border crossing. What church is that? That's a monastery. A Greek Orthodox uh, named after Saint Gerasimus. 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 Saint Gerasimus. Um, there is a, Saint Gerasimus. He was one of the first monks who came here, and um, he have lived in this area. He, has, he was the one who established the monastery. And there is a story about him that once, when he was walking along the river, he saw an injured uh, lion and he uh, gave him treatment and the lion became his friend. And later when he died, Saint uh, Gerasimus, the lion sat on his tomb and never, never left until the lion himself died. So that's the story about it. So when you go to the monastery, you see the mosaics, the statues, it's all lions because of the story. We're talking about Byzantine period, Byzantine. So the, the monastery that was here before was destroyed, and this is a new one, built on top. Who was the first Christian pilgrim? Uh, the first pilgrim uh, was, we think, the, the, uh, the lady Algeria. Algeria. She, the Spanish lady, she came here in 383, something like that. Remember all the answers. <laughs> More questions, you uh, I'll, I'll tell the group to, to answer the group for Bella Gumabella. There will be the one to answer questions. How long uh, is the country of Israel? How long? From from north to south. How long? <laughs> I don't know. Is that long? Okay, so it's about uh, 800 uh, uh, meters, 800 kilometers. How wide? Eight hundred kilometers from north to south, a little bit more, and from from east to west, it's about uh, the average, let's say, 80 kilometers, between 80 to 90. Very small. Now the total population of the whole of Israel from Bella to Mabella? Nine million. Nine million. 
Israel is located between three continents. Very good. Africa, Asia, and Europe. And that's that's why the name of Israel, one of the titles, it's the land bridge. The land bridge. So in the ancient times, remember, all those who came through, if it was Assyrians, Babylonians, Egyptians, always came right through here. So Israel was a war zone. That's why the, the Israel was, was controlled by those mighty empires. If it was the Greeks, the Romans, because it was a major land bridge. Because if you go from the mountains here of Moab to the right, east, it's a desert. So you cannot go across, straight across to Mesopotamia. You had to go northeast, where is Syria, Iraq, where you could find water. Remember, the way of the sea was following rivers and water. Going east, it's a big desert. You, cannot, you couldn't go across. If you go west, it's the Great Sea, the Mediterranean. See, so that's like a, a bridge, landing, land bridge connecting the empires and the continents. Yeah? Arabic, not so well. I, I, In, in, Jew, in Hebrew, it is a house of uh, bread. In Arabic, it's house of meat. House of meat. Lachem in Arabic, it's meat. But but uh, yeah, but the name is actually Hebrew name. The name is Hebrew name. And it was named so we think because of the fine wheat that they used to grow, Bo the fields of Boaz. Remember the story about Boaz and Ruth. So the fields of boys were all around Bethlehem. We used to grow wheat over there. Okay, so we're coming now to the checkpoint, and it's not the border crossing yet. From here, we will continue to follow the road all the way down. So, but here they will stop us and they will ask questions. Me and the driver will see.